another sinkhole. This one with our student loan debt. We are getting news that students are taking on more loans, anticipating forgiveness from the government. One student even telling the Wall Street Journal, quote, the promise of forgiveness is the only real reason she took on almost $300,000 in debt. Jerry Willis with me now on why this is a huge problem. It, it really annoys you, doesn't it, that these uh, people just assume that it'll be paid off well, without having to do anything about it? They assume for a good reason, because the president put in place a program that allows you to pay as you earn. Let me tell you what's going on with Virginia. So she accrued some $256,000 worth of debt. She's only paying $330 a month. That's less than the interest on her loan. And why? Because she's paying as she earns and it's perfectly legal. She's allowed to do it. It was a, a government initiative here to help people pay off these loans, pay them down, you know, be able to deal with these massive loans. And she's not alone. Let me tell you. So there's some hundred uh, people with a hundred thousand or more in, in college debt, 1.8 million Americans, 3.8 million are in income based repayment plans. And David, I got to tell you, you know, we talk a lot about the high cost of tuition. We talk a lot about how uh, graduates can borrow almost anything they want to. Uh, as being real reasons that the price of, of college education goes up, up, up. But let me tell you another reason. It's the forgiveness plans. Because why not take on more debt? Because yeah. you're not going to have to pay for it. Another thing about this woman that you should know, if you work in the public sector or for a not-for-profit, eventually after 20 years, the whole thing is forgiven. Well, that's the incredible thing. Telegraphing uh, that you can forgive the whole thing the way the president has. He was the first one that, that I heard it from, that after 20 years, you just wait 20 years and you don't have to worry it's it anymore. Over. Total right. irresponsibility. And of course, as you say, the colleges and universities love it because they're they're raking it in and raising into uh, tuition rates even more as a result of it. Jerry, thank you very much. You're most welcome. Well, Democrats are promising a lot of government goodies like loan forgiveness. Actor Wayne Rogers says this is going to become a big problem. Wayne, it's already a big problem, isn't it? Yes, it is already a big problem. I mean, we have five uh, city. We have five cities in the state of California that are that are in bankruptcy or close to bankruptcy right now because of uh, pension plan payments and payments that uh, the politicians just didn't anticipate. Well, politicians, what politicians do, actually, the person who's, who said this better than anybody is Chris Christie, the governor of New Jersey. Uh, I don't agree with him on everything, but when he faced up with those firemen, I don't know if you saw this, he was speaking before a fireman's union. And they booed him for about five minutes. He stood back, let them go on. Finally, he stood forward. He said, look, I know why you don't like me, because I'm telling you, you can't have money because we don't have it. But what I don't understand is why didn't you hate even more the politicians before me who promised things that they knew they could never deliver on? Well, the terrible part about this, David, is, is not so much that they, they lied and do all of that thing and they try to, you know, uh, to get elected by promising people things that they can't deliver it is that the technical part of this is a city goes in or a municipality goes into bankruptcy they then they there is an argument about who's first who's going to get the money first the bondholders have been sold bonds to do things for the city make improvements for the city the schools and all of that and those bonds become questionable as to whether they are in first position or in second position there will eventually be a point if they keep putting these pension plans in first position in front of the bondholders a city will not be able to finance itself to do anything yeah. because the bondholders are being cheated. But Wayne, again, getting back to the student loans, I mean, it's the same syndrome, though, where politicians are encouraging people uh, to be bad debtors. They're encouraging people to take out loans they can't afford to eventually become deadbeats. Yes, because they want to get elected. That's right, because they're bribing the public. That you know, uh, De Tocqueville said when he in 1837, when the when the when the public officials discovered that they can bribe the public with their own money, it's the end of the democracy. Oh so he was absolutely right. Well, I hope we haven't come to the end. I don't think I think it's reversible, but we're we're down a big sinkhole anyway. Wayne Rogers, thank you very much.